Excuse me, young man. Si, senora. Are you in Mr. Brown's class? Por favor. Mr. Brown's class. Brown. Mr. Brown? Ah, si. Sí. Juan Cervantes. Para servir la señora. Yes. But are you in Mr. Brown's class? English is a foreign language. Por favor. Are you really as stupid as you look? <laughs> Never mind. Ah, excuse me. You are in Mr. Brown's class, aren't you? Well, you? Are you or aren't you? <laughs> Doesn't Mr. Brown teach you anything? Por favor. You. Yes, please, Missy. <laughs> Can I be assisting you in any way whatsoever? Last a breakthrough. Are you in Mr. Brown's class? No, I am in corridor. <laughs> Do you think you could give him a message? Most certainly. I am Miss Courtney. And I am Ranjit Singh. Just at this particular moment, I'm not really bothered who you are. I just want you to give Mr. Brown a message. I'll be very happy to comply with the request. Would you tell him I would like a word with him? Oh, certainly. Which word would you like? <laughs> just say I want to speak to him. <laughs> Foreigners. Work, <laughs> please. Uh, settle down. Uh, thank you. Right. Good evening. Uh, so we appear to be some missing. I, I hope they haven't dropped out. Oh, please, it not be surprising me. I am always thinking that Sikh son of a guru was a Punjabi dropout. <laughs> hearing what you are saying, you miserable spawn of a <laughs> Don't you two start again. Actually, you're late. A thousand apologies for this unforgivable tardiness. But you are all unavoidably detained in the corridor by a lady. Si, si. Uh, do, do I take it, Juan, that you understood what Ranjit was saying? Por favor. Oh, sorry. <laughs> who is this lady who detained you in the corridor? Oh, blimey. I am forgetting her name. She was a big lady. Very large bosoms. Grandioso. Yeah. <laughs> very good. Yes, so while you're trying to remember her name, perhaps you'd better sit down. Right. Yeah, yeah. Now, I hope you've all done your homework. Yes. Ah, ah, we uh, excuse me, please. I am remembering the name. Missy Courtney. No, Miss Courtney. Yes, absolutely. The lady with the large bosom. Uh, yeah. <laughs> She's wanting to see you. Yes, well, she'll just have to wait. Excuse me, please. She is already waiting. <laughs> she may be the principal, but I have a class to teach. Now, as I was saying about... Oh, Ah, Miss uh, Large, um, <laughs> Miss Courtney, uh, I was just on my way to see you, actually. That's not the impression I got. Yeah, well, I shan't be a moment, class. Oh, it's all right, don't bother. I merely wanted to tell you that you can expect another student. Oh, jolly good. More the merrier. You're not here to make merry, Mr. Brown. <laughs> no, no, it was just a figure of speech. Well, you better try teaching a few figures of speech to your students. Yes, they well, seem to be in need of it. I'm doing my best. Huh. Yeah. The, oh, uh, Miss Courtney. Yes. This uh, new student, what nationality can I expect? African. Oh, African. Thank you. Right, now you remember I asked you all to write an essay, a short story about your life here in England. Yes. Hope you've all done so, have you? Yes. Good, good. Well, I shall go around the class and ask each of you to read out what you've written. Anna, shall we start with you? My Life in England by Anna Schmidt. Good, very good. <laughs> Yeah, but go on. Hmm? There is no more. Oh, that's all there is. Yeah, I have no time to write more. All this that Mrs. Walker is keeping me busy. Anna do this, Anna do that. She is a slave driver, that Mrs. Walker. Walker. What? The w is pronounced. <laughs> w. Your employer's name is Walker. Yeah, Walker. <laughs> do you know how many shirts Mrs. Walker made me iron last night? Walker. Yeah, Walker. <laughs> ben. Then I had to prepare a meal for the bitch. <laughs> Anna, she may be a hard task, mistress, but I don't think you ought to call her that. Who? Mrs. Walker. Walker. <laughs> I was meaning the dog bitch. Oh, yes. <laughs> that is why I'm having no time for the homework. Yes, well, yeah, not to worry. You really must concentrate on those W sounds. W. B. No, W. <laughs> Danielle, would you like to read us your essay? Oui. 
What I like about England by Mademoiselle Danielle Favre. Téléphone 246. <laughs> <laughs> good, uh, carry on. Excuse Yes, Giovanni. Was that 8021 or 8013? <laughs> uh, 8021. Don't, never mind what number it was. You're here to improve your English, not shut up other students. Uh, you are absolutely right, Professor. It's just. I'd like to improve my French as well. Yes. Well, you can do that in your own time. Carry on, Daniel. Thank you. I like England because the grass is so green and the people are so nice. People? Yes. Especially the man. Quiet, quiet. Englishmen are so charming, so handsome, and so sexy. <laughs> Silence, please. Yeah, I think that'll do, Daniel. But I've written much more. Hmm? All about the things I like to do at night. Hmm? <laughs> yes, well, I don't think we'd better go into those. I'll be reading all your essays later. Uh, Jamila, I don't suppose you've written anything, have you? Andy Polo? Uh, <laughs> written anything? No? No. Nah. Look, you really, really must start to speak a little, Jamila. Speak. Baba. Oh, a challenge. Yeah, but you number zero. I'm to No, 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 no. no. <laughs> In English, you must try to speak English. Look, try saying good evening. Huh? <laughs> All right, let's start with the good. 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 It's not difficult, Jamila. Come on. Good. <coughs> <laughs> Look, you nearly said it then. Come on, good. Oh, oh, please, no prompting. Oh. God! Yeah. Excellent. Well done. Now try evening. Evening. It's not difficult, Janilla. Come on. Evening. Yes, yes. Come on. Good. Yeah. I, I know you can say good. Say evening. 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 Uh, evening. 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 Yes, good, good. Now, put them both together. Good evening. God happening. 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 Good, good, well done. We'll try some new words later. Suli, uh, have you written anything? Uh, yes, yes. Fine. <laughs> what I like about England. England is becoming more politically minded and gradually more less <laughs> The overthrow of decadent capitalistic government is going to take place as working classes become more educated and embrace communism as the true way of life. Workers' revolution getting nearer with inevitable collapse of imperialistic bourgeois intellectual society. Yes, well, if that's what you like about England, I wouldn't want to read what you didn't like. <laughs> Excuse, yes. Taro. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I have smaller observation on young ladies' discourse that will also illustrate increased knowledge of English. Certainly, Taro, go ahead. With respect. Young lady, speaker, road of couplers. <laughs> Attitude typical of fascist Nipponese. Japan, civilized though, country not like China, run by peasant. -o. Chinese, not peasant. -o. Japanese, not fascist. -o. Oh, oh Suli. <laughs> Suli, come on. Taro, uh, please go and apologize. Apologize? Yes. yes. A loose face. Not my photo. Well, never mind. <laughs> never mind whose photo it was going to be. Please. 
Mrs. Courtney. Miss. Sir, sorry. I'm Roger Kenyon from the Education Authority. Oh. Oh, they told me they were sending an inspector round, but I really didn't expect. He would be black. He would be so young. My apologies. <laughs> but the authority likes to check that the standards of the evening classes are up to par. I can assure you that my standards here are well over par. I'm glad to hear it. Well, Mr. Kenyon, if you'd like to come with me, I'll show you round. No, 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 please. I'd rather just wander around on my own, if you don't mind. I usually get a much clearer picture that way. <laughs> Everything all right? Everything's okay. Good. We have agreed to differ. Ah, right. Excuse me, please. Ah, our new African. Pardon? Yeah, I've been expecting you. Me? Yes, I was told I'd have a new pupil. Look, it's nearly time for our tea break, so why don't you just go to the back for a minute and I'll take your particulars later. But please, you... Be a good chap and don't argue. Just go and sit there, right? Yes, but... <laughs> sit? Yes, please. <laughs> okay. Me Ten P, dear. Thank you, love. That's it. Next. Oh, there you are. You sit here. Thank you. Merci. I get the coffee. Yes. Coffee black? Thank you, please. Coffee black. Hey, I'll get the coffee for Danielle. Too bad. Sugar? Merci. Uh, how about the biscuit? You like the biscuit? I would like that. Good. I'll be back. <laughs> a pack of the biscuits, please. Oi. Pronto. Look, wait your time, love. There's a queue here. Oh, so oh, yeah. 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 Next. Good evening. <laughs> yeah, good evening. To your coffee, love. Good evening. <laughs> I heard you the first time. Tea or coffee? Oh, ho. Ja. Tea. <laughs> ten P. Good evening. Yeah, ten, ten P. Oi! So I'll, I'll pay for that and a coffee for me, please. And a coffee for you. Thank you. Are you Mr. Brown? Yes. Oh, I've got a message for you from her ladyship. Oh, lady who? The, Miss <laughs> Courtney. She's been in here and she wants to see you. Yeah, I know what she does want. Yes, Mr. Brown. Uh, <laughs> uh, you want to see me? In my office, immediately. Uh, careful, that's coffee. You'll spill it. Por favor. That's coffee. Gracias. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Same again, please. Oh, no, Mr. Brown. Thank you. Thank you, love. Pack it the biscuits, please. Oh, I'm sorry, we haven't any left. <laughs> oh, good, good. You've uh, come to have a cup of coffee. Coffee? <laughs> yes, coffee, this stuff. Thank you. <laughs> Enter. It has taken you two minutes, 38 seconds exactly to come to my office immediately. I'm glad I didn't ask you to take your time. Well, I'm sorry, I was detained. Well, I thought I'd better tell you that an inspector has arrived. Oh, my conscience is clear. I beg your pardon. Well, apart from the odd parking ticket, I've never had any trouble with the police. <laughs> An education inspector. Ah, I see. I'm sorry. How stupid of me. Yes. Well, you'll probably want to call in on your class. Oh, well, don't worry. I'll uh, deal with him. You don't deal with inspectors from the local authority, Mr. Brown. You cosset them and flatter them and agree with everything they say. Yeah, well, I'll do that as well. I expect he'll want to see your register. My register? You do have a register. Oh, th that register? Yes, of course. Oh, well, you better call it as soon as you get back to your class. Right. By the way, while you're here, the local authority want me to fill in a few details about you on this form. Now, I've got your name. Yes. Address. Yes. Sex. Occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> Marriage. 
married? Sorry. Uh, no, I, I was engaged once. As a matter of fact, I proposed marriage, but it uh, didn't really work out. There was quite a lot of opposition. Her father? No, her husband. I didn't realise she was married. At the time. <laughs> what do you do during the day? Oh, well, nothing at the moment, I'm afraid. I'm uh, waiting for a suitable position. And what was your last position? Well, I was teaching at a secondary modern school, but I left. I couldn't stand any more beatings. Well, I didn't think teachers beat children anymore. No, they don't. It was the other way round. <laughs> I think you'd better take this form and fill it up yourself and bring it back to me later. Right. And do be careful what you say to the inspector. Oh, of course. Oh, by the way, the new student has arrived. You won't forget to add the name to the register, will you? Danielle. Um, what uh, you do uh, half the class? I go and learn the English. Hey, I'm going to learn the English as well. Maybe we learn together, huh? Yes, but what about poor Max? Yeah. What about the poor Max? I'm a crying my eyes out. <sighs> I have an idea. I have uh, lots of ideas. Why not you and Max study together, huh? <laughs> <laughs> right, class, uh, settle down, please. Quiet. Now, the first thing we have to do before we do anything else is to call the register. So sorry. Right? Ah, that's quite all right. I expect you'll uh, have a bit of difficulty finding your way round at first. Things will seem rather strange. Yes, yeah, uh, very strange. Yes. Must yeah. be quite a change coming from one of the underdeveloped countries to our more advanced way of life. <laughs> oh, yes. Still, your people are doing remarkably well. Did, did you fly here? Fly? <laughs> How do you mean, Buana? <laughs> in a big iron bird. <laughs> Quite a change from riding an elephant. <laughs> Unless you came by jumbo. <laughs> English joke. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> well, perhaps you'd better sit down. Right? Right, I'm going to call out your names and will you please answer present? Present. <laughs> yes, yeah, Sally, but wait until I've called your name out. Right? Sorry, please. Ranjit Singh. Present and correct, please. <laughs> Giovanni Cupello? Ah, si, professori. No, Giovanni, not professori. No, professori? No, you should address me as sir. Sir? Yes. Now I understand. <laughs> you have been to get knotted. <laughs> Come again. Well, to become a sir, you got knotted by the Queen. Uh, the word is knighted, and I'm not that kind of sir. Maximilian Papandrios. Maximilian Papandrios. Mr. Brown is speaking to you. Is he? <laughs> Sorry. You want something? Yeah. Are you here or not? <laughs> Well, sure, I'm here. Taro Nagazumi. Aso. <laughs> present. Anna Schmidt. Yeah, present. Suli Chung. Present. Ali Nadim. Gift. <laughs> Gift. I'm surprising you, no? <laughs> Each day, I'm learning a new English word. And I'm finding that gift is another word for peasant. <laughs> very ingenious. Thank you very much. Danielle Favre. Present. And I am all here. Oh. <laughs> See that. Uh, Jamila Ranja. Ranji. Oh. Gorda Hefni. <laughs> yes, you're here. And Juan Cervantes? Por favor. Present. Por favor. You're here. Present. Well, i better take down your particulars, otherwise I may get into hot water. Oh, oh. You are going to have a hard bath? <laughs> no, Ali, it's just another way of saying I may get into trouble. Oh, dear. You have been committing some grievous misdemeanor. <laughs> Not at all. There's an inspector from the local education authority coming round. Yeah, the bigger boss. Yes, I suppose you could say that, but from my experience, they're usually interfering old fogies. 
<laughs> you don't like them? Not particularly. Frankly, they're quite useless and about as outdated as their teaching methods. I mean, what's the point of learning past participles, cognate objects, or subordinate clauses? It's far more useful to try to teach a foreign student how to uh, order a meal or find accommodation. You appear to have some rather unique ideas. Well, I suppose I have. You know, you speak English fairly well. <laughs> Thank you. Now, yeah. <laughs> what is your name? Roger Kenyon. Roger Kenyon. Ah, yes. ah Miss Courtney, I'm just uh, completing the register and getting the details of our new student before that inspector chappy <laughs> hopes he's made it. Hello. Mr. Brown. I shan't be a moment, Miss Courtney. What is your job? Inspector. Oh. What, local transport? <laughs> Local Education Authority. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought he was the new student. The new student is a female. Is she? Well, you didn't tell me that. Well, my apologies, Mr. Kenyon, and I do assure you that Mr. Brown will be severely dealt with. <laughs> I can't remember when I last enjoyed myself so much. I beg your pardon? Enjoyed yourself? You know, Miss Courtney, your Mr. Brown is a remarkable man. I am? He is? Yes. His teaching methods may be somewhat revolutionary, but they appear to work. I have always encouraged my staff to be forward-thinking. <laughs> well, I'll pass on your comments to the authority. Perhaps they revise their textbooks. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must put in an appearance at the other classes. Oh, well, uh, keep up the good work, Mr. Brown. And thank you very much for the coffee. <laughs> I'll come with you, Mr. Kenyon. Blimey, you are dropping a clinker. <laughs> you mean clanger. Yes, please. Yes, well. All right, let's continue with our lesson. Uh, get out your textbooks. I'm going to give you all a few exercises. Uh, excuse me, Professor, sir. I can't do any exercises. Why not? I've got a bad back. <laughs> Excuse me, I was looking for him. Ah, at last. A pity you didn't arrive half an hour earlier. Why? You might have saved me a great deal of embarrassment with a certain African gentleman. Oh. Yes, he was a school's inspector, but I mistook him for you. You thought a gentleman was me? <laughs> yeah. The silly fool tried to pretend he was a student and sit at the back to try to catch me out, but I saw through him. I gather you think he was a bit stupid. Oh, definitely. Thick as a brush. Was his name Mr. Kenyon? Yes. Do you know him? Uh, I should do. I've come to collect him. Ah. I am his wife. <laughs> oh, blimey, yes! You have dropped another clinker! <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,